What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of That Rotary Car Guy. Mazda RX-8. You can love them, you can hate them, but they are here to stay. It is the most hated out of all the RX series. Not because of the chassis, but it's because of its engine. The notorious 13B Renesis. The Renesis was introduced back in 2004 by Mazda and wanted to flood the market with their newest addition to the RX series, not knowing that the only thing they're going to be flooding was their own engine. As you all know, the Renesis was designed to have a much cleaner emission and improved fuel consumption. They even redesigned the exhaust ports to side ports and they even redesigned the apex seals itself. But even though with all these redesigning done with the engine, the Renesis proved to be even more unreliable, not to just the regular drivers, but to the rotor enthusiasts themselves. As many haters as the RX-8 have, there are plenty of drivers out there that defy the odds and use RX-8 for racing applications. Which is why I'm going to be joined by my good friend Eric Fisher at the track and he's going to let me test drive his RX-8. I met Eric back in 2022 and I remembered when he messaged me on Instagram saying that he's 99% sure that he's going to the 3 day drift event because he planned on bringing his RX-8 and slide it. I asked him if he wanted to do some tandems and then he said he ain't ready yet. Yeah, right. Without further delay, let's head to the track and meet Eric and his RX-8. What's up, Eric? How's it looking out there? Pretty good. Pretty good? You ready to do this? I think so, yeah. All right. So that's the first lap. It is so weird compared to my RX-7 because the wheel ratio is much different than my uh, RX-7. It's it shorter, right? Oh, yeah. I guess I just need to put more gas into it. Yeah, full throttle. Full throttle for sure. <laughs> You said uh, you replaced the uh, the rear end from normal to uh, uh, what is it, four seven? Yeah, I got a four seven now. Uh -huh. It originally came with a four four, and it's like a world of difference. From, uh, wait, from from where did you get that four seven though? Uh, we just got a marketplace from another from an S two RX eight. Oh, so they have a different version. Yeah, of yeah. It. Uh, oil temp is two two twenty or something. Let it chill for a second. Okay. So with RX-8 when you're drifting it, are they like bad on like the oil stuff, like temperature and, and I mean really pressure? the only thing that's bad is the wheel temp. 
So that's what the thing about RX-8s, right? Yeah. When did you start drifting this RX-8? Uh, I think about two years ago now. Two years ago? And that's why I'm saying like you progress so much. Like you're you're doing like high speed corners, you're doing like pole cap. I'm scared to do that. <laughs> That track's pretty crazy too. Yeah, like one day once I get my Turbo RX-7, I will be out there, but I gotta practice on the sim. Cause I know you practice that. Right. The sim is like the best learning tool. Right? Yeah, it definitely is. Like everybody should just start with sim yeah. at this point. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if you have large second ever, just gonna start on it. Now that you got into rotary stuff because of this RX-8, any upgrades that you're on for this that you want to do? Um, I think the best upgrade would maybe be going to an FC. <laughs> you going to an FC? Alright, uh, it might be cool. Uh, oh, wow. Maybe like turbo kit or something eventually. For this? Or a street port or something like that. Okay, are you going to get an FD engine or keep it Renesis? Um, probably try to keep it Renesis for a little while, but maybe go with like a hybrid or something. Gotcha. I've never seen like a Turbo RX-8 drifting out here before. It's, it's really, you can see that, right? Because how much is the Turbo setup? It's like, what, almost 10K? Um, 5K? I think like new ones go up for that much, but like if you find something like used, yeah. they really old ready to. It's just, I don't know, for some reason, like, as much as I love Renesis, I just like them to drive them sometimes, you know, like, yeah. run it somewhere on a weekend, mm -hmm. but like, what a lot of people do with RX-8, they put in, uh, they swap in an FD engine yeah. and, and call it a day, you yeah. know, and I think that's what I'm going to do later on. Yeah. If I'm just going to daily in RX-8, cool, I'll get a Renesis, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much daily this long, so. <laughs> so this is registered? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're just driving out there, like, during your last year of high school? Mm -hmm. This kid just graduated high school and he's tandeming with a lot of people already. That's crazy. And then at the end of the day, during that time when fall double down, he went from like, he spun out only like, what? Four times throughout the day and then the rest of the weekend. He just kept hanging with me and just like, I couldn't even chase him. <laughs> again like I just need to full throttle that oh, thing yeah. and it was weird because it's like I guess it's got so much weight into it it tends to like roll on its own I'm just yeah. kind of like you know gauging it with my RX-7 it's like it can be snappy because it's lighter but here I gotta make sure like okay it's got weight into it I gotta be careful yeah. to how much I can put gas yeah. into it I forgot that this was a uh, electric power steering oh yeah Okay, so that's that's like a new world thing to me. Like I, I've never drifted an electric power swing like that before. So it does take some time to get used to it because you know it doesn't have like that, you know, like the actual analog power steering that before, you know, from different cars. That's fun. <laughs> I can see why you can keep up with a lot of these big dogs out of here. <laughs>
man, this is actually fun, dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get an RX-8. There is an RX-8 that I've been trying to get. This lady was like selling it for like less than a thousand. It has no title because it was abandoned in their shop. But she won't talk to me no more. <laughs> you guys know um, this is my first time drifting an RX-8 uh, given that it was set up for drifting but it is actually really good like I don't know how I was able to drift it that way I just I, I just drifted and it's like as soon as I just you know put my gas put the gas on the you know the floor it's just like it turns like how it should be it, it's crazy so because of this, I'm definitely set on getting an RX-8 later on. So me and you can tell later on, alright? Awesome. Yeah, me, so, you, and Drew. Oh yeah, me, you, and Drew, out. and everybody else, dude. But I just want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity, man. Like, I'm so happy that I was able to do this. Uh, my first car view on your car. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.